I'm Anil Kumar. Let me first thank my subscribers for taking keen interest and posting excellent questions. Now on demand of understanding how to find number of X intercepts and their value. Here is a very simple video for you. The question here is find the number of X intercepts for the following. And let me also add find value of x also right so at which point do we have x intercept so we'll take four examples here and try to figure it out you can also pause the video copy the question try it out and then look into my suggestions when we say x intercept that means we're looking for value of x let us say x equals to a when f of a is is zero right so whatever value of a a makes this function zero is its x intercept so the very first example is 2x squared times x minus 1 whole cube times x equals to x plus 3 now in this function you will see that x equals to 0 or at 1 or at minus 3. If I substitute 0 here, 0 times anything will be 0. So the value of the function will be 0. If I substitute 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So we again get f of 1 as 0. And if I substitute x as minus 3, f of minus 3 will also be 0. So these are the three x intercepts, right? So we have x intercepts at 0, 1, and minus 3. And how many are there? So let me make a column for that. Right. So we'll say we'll write down number, number in this column. So the number of x intercepts are 3. The second one here is kind of tricky. Both are even, plus 2. So this is never zero. Do you see that? So here the number is zero or none, I should write, right? Never zero because every time you put anything here, even at two, the minimum value is two. So absolute minimum is two. Then we have two x minus one to the power of four minus 32. Now I'll have to do some work to find out zeros for this function. However, we know that there are at least two zeros, right? So let's figure it out. So we want to make h of x as zero. We are trying to figure out the position of zeros from this equation. So we'll equate h of x as zero. We have two, I mean, times x minus one to the power of four minus 32. Bringing 32 to the left, we get two times x minus one to the power of four. And then dividing by 2, let's continue here. So we get 16 equals to x minus 1 to the power of 4. Taking the fourth root of 16, which could be plus or minus, we can get x minus 1. Fourth root of 16 is 2, right? So we get plus minus 2 is x minus 4. And from here we can get x equals to 1 plus minus 2. So the value is either 1 plus 2, 3, or 1 minus 2 as minus 1. So, so we get 0 here for x equals to 3 and at minus 1. So we have two zeros. Both are linear zeros. In this equation, x squared plus 1 times x minus 1 whole squared, x squared plus 1 is never 0. But the other factor x minus 1 is going to be 0 at x equals to 1. And so we have only 1, 0. So that is how for different kinds of equations, we can find the x-intercepts and count them. Especially it's easy when they are even written in factored form. If they are not written in factored form, then we may have to work it out as we did for part C. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thanks for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. All the best.